a $50 Galaxy Fit 3 versus nearly $400 Apple Watch 7 or Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. What's the catch? Let's explore together. My son and I will be reviewing uh, this watch together as he has been using Apple Watch 7 for quite some time and I would like to know his experience of switching from Apple Fitness Watch to Fit 3. Same for myself as I have been using the latest Galaxy Watch 6 Classic S2 Edition for over 6 months and we would just like to see uh, out of curiosity how does Fit 3 compare uh, to both Apple Watch 7 and Galaxy Watch 6. Let's do the unboxing. The box is a very compact size. On opening the box we can see uh, the compactly packed watch itself. It has premium silicone material and quite lightweight as you can uh, just see. The single charging wire is a USB-C um, cable with a metallic double clip band at the end and it just fits in one direction you can't um, flip it over and because of the magnetic repulsion as you can just see it can be connected to any external usb power bank and it instantly starts charging those the watch the best part with fit 3 is uh, the variety of apps and uh, wallpapers uh, to our pleasant surprise actually as you can see there are so many varieties of watch faces and very sleek uh, customized according to the shape of the watch uh, lots of varieties of colors basic information um, I mean casual minimalistic you can just scroll through and this was the first time uh, we were browsing the watch faces other than the apps as you can see it comes with all the standard apps uh, in this watch which were available on my watch 6 as well uh, so there's it's nothing short of spectacular that it has pretty much all the applications of uh, a standard Galaxy Watch 6 Classic that I have been using over the last uh, six months or so. And there's lots there are lots of options of customization of uh, the widgets and the apps and the quick panel. Um, find my band if you lost if you lost it somewhere you can just track it with your phone. The design and form factor it's nice um, silicone band it and has a nice beautiful rectangular design with a, a rectangular form factor unlike watch apple watch 7 which is more of a square design and unlike the galaxy watch 6 which is a circular design so all three designs have their own pros and cons it, i think it's uh, down to individual preference but here is a nice comparison of the design uh, of Fit 3 versus the Watch 6 which I have been using. One of the best features of Galaxy Fit 3 is its powerful battery. The Samsung claims that it can last up to 13 days with a standard use. However, in our personal use with full features uh, with automatic uh, always on display, Bluetooth connectivity, uh, auto brightness, everything, it drops it uses like 12 to 15 percent of charge per day which gives us an easy use of seven to eight days and that's pretty impressive for a, a power heavy uh, fit fitness watch the recharging time is really quick uh, it can easily charge uh, up to 65 percent with just half an hour of quick juice up while the full charge can take just under an hour which is quite incredible i mean i was really impressed with my galaxy watch 6 classic that it lasts me a whole day of use and I'm still left with uh, around uh, I would say uh, 60 to 70 percent of the battery but this is super amazing Galaxy Fit 3. With it's such low price it was a huge big seller um, and we were trying to buy the Fit 3 in stores and it took us um, quite a long time to actually find it it was out of stock and many people were wondering what's the difference between let's say the Fit 3 which is hardly $40 and let's say the something like the Galaxy Watch 6 which is almost 3-4 uh, times uh, more expensive even more than that so if you look at these two watches um, obviously the size is much different and the um, shape so the Fit 3 takes on more of an Apple Watch uh, it's kind of like the Apple Watch and the Fitbit combined. It has that rectangular shape which um, honestly feels really good on the wrist especially when you're working out 
Um, uh, for example, when you're running on a treadmill or you're going on a walk, you hardly feel the Fit3 and it's just so good how you're able to do your workouts, it doesn't slide down your wrist and it's amazing. Whereas the Watch 6 cla uh, Classic um, is more of a bulky watch, obviously it has its advantage advantages with its huge display, more information can pop up on this. But in terms of workout, I feel like the Fit3 is a great um, size on the wrist. Now, if you look at features, it's the same features as the Fit3 on the Watch 6. Obviously, we have the quick panel. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, you get obviously more apps on the Watch 6 than you do on the Fit3. Naturally, um, for example, you can get YouTube Music, Keep, um, and all the other apps that you um, would probably be able to use on your phone as well whereas I would say the Fit3 is more of a fitness related watch with um, added benefits and features um, when this, their widgets are the same on both so if you swipe um, right you get all of these widgets and honestly when it came to using the Fit3 I didn't feel a massive difference in terms of the usability, 99% of the things that I would do on the Watch 6 Classic, I was able to do on the Fit 3. Whether it was obviously starting workouts, which is the biggest feature on the Fit 3, or it was, um, let's say, controlling my media on my phone, I found the Fit 3 extremely user friendly. Now earlier I brought up the comparison between the Apple Watch and the Samsung Fit 3 and I would say that the Fit 3 is um, very similar looking to the Apple Watch but it has a touch of Samsung's own watches, for example the um, Watch 6 Classic. Now I would say that the um, Fit 3 is almost the same width as the Apple Watch, however it's obviously much sleeker. Again, I feel like the Fit3 is amazing for its very compact size on the wrist. It's amazing to work out with, whereas the Apple Watch, whilst it is very light, it can get a bit protrusive and it feels a bit heavy on the wrist. Same thing for the um, Watch 6 Classic. So I'd say the Fit3 size isn't something where I felt compromised in. Um, at first I was a bit skeptical, but honestly there wasn't much difference and I actually I've grown to like this size more than let's say um, the Apple Watch or the Samsung Watch. So here we have the Samsung Fit 3. So if we turn it on, obviously we have the home screen. Now if you hold on to this um, for like more than 2 or 3 seconds, you get obviously all your wallpapers. For example, I'll just choose this uh, monologue for example. So similar to the other Galaxy watches and I'll compare it to the Galaxy Astro Watch soon. If you swipe uh, down from the top, you get your uh, quick panel, and it just has everything from brightness to water lock, all of the main essential things that you would need. Um, for example, control to your phone, you can change the um, sound function. And if you swipe up from the bottom, you get all your apps, for example, health, media control, weather, calculator, uh, all of them, and settings as well. Um, however, and if you swipe um, from the uh, left side of the screen, you get all of your notifications. You can delete them here. And if you swipe the other way, obviously you get all of your widgets. So let's say I've organized them in the way of health. Then I have media controller. This is basically a feature where if you're playing, let's say, um, let's say you have a song on your phone, um, Spotify for example, or let's say you're watching a YouTube video, it will actually come up on your watch so you can actually control, let's say, the volume or you can pause or, pa uh, pause or play your um, video um, from the watch. Um, this is the blood, o blood oxygen uh, monitor, um, exercise workouts, sleep, tra sleep tracking, weather, alarms, food. Um, all of the many of these are fitness related. Obviously, this is a fitness um, based watch. You can also add more su such as heart rate, stress, um, calendar, um, weather, for example. Um, you can also customize them uh, through your phone. One feature that was extremely standby um, with the Fit3 was it's always on display. Now for a watch that's so cheap and always on display seems like a big luxury and it is. Honestly I wasn't expecting it to have an always on display and it works with every wallpaper and I honestly like the animations. It's very smooth. 
Um, for example, if I go onto the uh, simple wallpaper, um, I just love these always on displays, and I was really not expecting it from a watch that's so cheap, and it's honestly such a great value. I would recommend this watch to anyone. And now, with the low cost, you would think that Samsung, Samsung may have compromised on many things, and as I said before, they haven't. But one thing I would say which um, isn't really noticeable at all, but it is something that Samsung have compromised on, is the bezels. So as you can see, the bezels all around the watch um, and the top on the sides are really amazing. They're very small, almost non-existent. However, there is um, a slightly larger bezel on the bottom. And honestly, for me, I, hard I hardly ever notice this. And for me, I personally like um, black or very plain wallpapers on my watch because I feel like the whole point of a watch is to have something that's very minimalistic on your uh, wrist. However, um, let's say if um, you're on an app with bright colors, you would you will see the this uh, bezel or let's say um, for example the previous wallpapers that I showed you here so you can see the bezel it doesn't make a difference at all to the screen really um, the size is big enough but I just wanted to point this out so I've just measured my blood oxygen on this uh, on the fit three and it's one of my widgets that I've set and it shows 99% here and on um, this finger probe if I just measure myself Yeah, it shows 99. So they're both. Uh, so the fit three is obviously very accurate, and that's a really good sign. So right now we're outside, um, and this is the full brightness of the fit three. It's amazing for outdoors. Um, you can see everything quite clearly, whether it's on a black background um, or it's just your wallpaper. You can see all the apps, um, and it's very, very clear the display, um, even in the bright lights. So the Fit3 has several fitness features obviously, um, first of all I've chosen this wallpaper, it shows my steps, the calories I've burned, uh, my average heart rate throughout the day um, I think and um, the number of uh, minutes I've exercised. So um, if you want to see all your fitness widgets and stuff you just swipe left and so uh, you can rearrange these so let's say if you hold on you can either um, um, remove widgets or you can add them add more tiles however um, these are the widgets that I've added so in order I've started with the Samsung Health so again this shows my exercise minutes steps and calories burn if I click on this I get um, my, all my steps and everything in these nice graphs and um, I also get the total number of burned calories today um, distance covered while ac during activity and it also shows all the um, go my fitness goals I've met throughout this week. So it shows I've met four out of five days. Um, and you can tap show on this on, on phone to if you want to see on a bigger screen. And that's say edit your goals. And you can set targets for yourself, which I've already done. And um, moving on, this is the blood oxygen monitor. And this is honestly amazing. And I think it's a really key feature in um, a fitness watch like this. Again, it's it just shows how how good of a value the Fit3 is. But moving on, uh, the next widget is all my workouts. Now, one problem that I had in my Apple Watch, for example, was the lack of workouts. And I usually would have to go on, let's say, a hit workout for, let's say, if I was playing football or something, because there were not many workouts. However, there's you will not face this f problem on the Fit3 at all. There are so many workouts and you can just add another one and you get all of these sports, literally like they're very specific and uh, I've tried several workouts on this and I've never um, missed any, so this is amazing. And it also shows you the uh, workouts that you've done this week. Moving on, this is another cute uh, widget which shows the dif distance covered, the hours I've slept, this is inaccurate. Um, because I didn't use it last night. I have my calories burned, my heart rate, and then my other uh, widget has all the steps. Um, and yeah, so those are all the fitness related widgets on the Fit3. So the final verdicts, without a shadow of doubt, Fit3 is a beautiful piece of fitness watch at an extremely affordable price of $50 
packed with super heavy features of all the Apple and Galaxy watches that you can imagine. It's lightweight design and um, hardly 18 and a half grams weight, which is almost half of the weight of Galaxy Watch 6, makes it extremely light on the wrist. Hence, a really comfortable device during workouts. It comes with a generous 1.6 inch rectangular display, which is almost 50% bigger than, the pre than its predecessor, Galaxy Fit 2. Coming to the UI and software, it comes preloaded with 100 plus watch faces with various features as we have reviewed and has over 100 workouts pre-installed on the watch. And this is not all. Coming with a punchy 13 day, up to 13 day battery life, you won't be uh, rushing towards looking for a charger every now and then. So in short, I think a device like this, which is equipped with almost everything that the big giants offer, but at a fraction of a price, it's worth considering for your next um, purchase. Why not? Let's be fit together.